Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram for more interesting tips and tutorials. In today's video we will create this kind of bracelet. After I create it I recognize that it will be perfect match for the earrings we created earlier. I will leave the link for these earrings here and in description below this video so you can create it as a set. First of all you will need to take quite long thread but don't take it too long because if it will be around 2 meters it will be very hard for you to work. Better uh, add some thread during your work. We will start with 10 seed beads. As always I leave a tail, then come through the same seed beads one more time, we will create a loop out, out of it. And make a knot. Then you need to take six seed beads size eight. After you take two seed beads size ten by can crystal four millimeters and two seed beads size ten. We leave two seed beads from the beginning and we enter to four seed beads size 8. Again, two seed beads size 10, crystal 4 millimeters and two seed beads and we enter again into the four. We need to repeat this six times while we have six bicon crystals around our around our four seed beads of size eight zero. And last one here. In total we did six. As you can see now we have a crystal bead. Our next step will be we take again six seed beads of size eight. And again, two seed beads size 10 zero, one bicon crystal 4 millimeters and two seed beads. We skip two and we enter into the four. As well, six times. And again, six seed beads, size eight. And we repeat all the same. My next will start with crystal instead of two seed beads of size eight. So I will take one bicon crystal and then four seed beads 
size 8 and everything same two seed beads size 10 one bicon and two seed beads one thing i will change it is instead of two seed beads of size 8-0 i will add bicon crystal and then four seed beads size 8 same way we continue till we get our necessary length as you can see here my bracelet is almost ready i have here three crystal balls where is in between there is the seed beads and then i continue only with crystal in between the uh, crystal balls now i will need to end end up my bracelet same way how I started. I will add 6 seed beads size 8 and 2 seed beads 1 bicon and 2 seed beads size 10 6 times around four seed beads of size eight zero I have finished my bracelet, now I will finish it with lobster clasp. I take two seed beads size 8, same way as here. I will take four seed beads size 10. Then jump ring and four seed beads of size 10 i will enter to the seed beads size 80 then inside one of these strands on my crystal bead I will go around, then I will enter to the seed bead size 80. Will help I will help myself with the pliers. And I will pass through my seed bead loop one more time. To secure it better.
and I will go down again through my crystal bead. Then I will secure my thread and cut it. My base is ready. Now to my jump ring I will attach lobster clasp. For it I will just open my jump ring. And I will attach it. And close. And from other side I have this kind of chain. I will attach this chain to the jump ring as well and to my loop what we have created in the beginning and close it. Then I will decorate my chain for it I take head pin seed bead and crystal I bend the pin and make a loop then I will open my chain and will attach crystal to the chain and close to create bracelet which is 7 inches long you will need 12 crystal beads our bracelet is ready and I'm really happy with the result. As you can see, you can arrange the length for yourself. And it is quite easy to put it on yourself as our chain is very long. I hope this tutorial was useful for you and you will create your own bracelets using different colors and seed beads and together with the earrings it will be a really really amazing set. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you very much for watching it and have a nice day. Bye!